Hello friends, uh, today I am going to be talking to you about stem cell donation process. Now, Before we get into that, I just want to congratulate you for being the chosen one to be able to save somebody's life. And I want to tell you that every five minutes in India, someone is diagnosed with blood cancer or a blood disease wherein there is no other treatment option but a stem cell or a bone marrow transplantation. Now a question which comes in everybody's mind who are about to donate their stem cells is that how this process is going to be working. I just want to go through some of these points with you in the next couple of minutes. Once it's been demonstrated that someone like you is matching a patient completely, the next step which is undertaken is to figure out whether the donor is fit to donate. So there's going to be physical and medical examination of the donor by a physician who wants to ensure that the process is absolutely safe for you and also safe for the patient whose these stem cells are going to get into. So there will be battery of blood tests and other investigations done including ultrasound abdomen and maybe other investigations to make sure that you are absolutely safe during this process. Once that is completed then we do something called as final clearance then we ensure that you are completely fit, fine and will not transmit any diseases for example to the patient and uh, hence a final clearance for donations issued. Once that is done, before collection, before the exact stem cell collection process happens, four to five days before that stem cell collection process, GCSF, which is a small injection given under the skin of the donor, is administered to the donor. This injection is given to increase the number of stem cells in the blood of the donor which are ultimately going to be collected in the process. It's absolutely safe to get the GCS up underneath the skin, no major side effects except for sometimes you feel a little bit of body pains but otherwise it's very well tolerated. Now comes the day of collection or the stem cell donation process itself which I said earlier is collected from the peripheral veins. It's exactly like platelet donation if you have donated platelets before. So the blood from the vein goes out, in, it spins into the machine, it collects the stem cells and the rest of the blood is going back into the body. So literally you're not losing anything except for the extra stem cells which have been stimulated by this injection called GCSF. It's an outpatient procedure, it takes three to four hours and you really don't need to miss an office day, probably one day of your, of your life is worth changing somebody's life forever and saving them from one of these deadly diseases which they are fighting. I just want to tell you before I conclude that you will not be left alone after your donation. There will be a regular follow-up done by the registry to check on how you are doing, how his health is for many months and years to come after you have done your donation. So in short, the process of peripheral stem cell collection and donation is absolutely safe it's an outpatient procedure, it takes three to four hours and there are no major or even minor side effects in the short term or the long term. So we encourage all of you to come forward, donate these stem cells to these needy patients and change somebody's life forever. Thank you.